a good week how have you been getting on with this month's theme of self-control well remember self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to and that can be really tough can't it last week we took a look at Jesus and how he got himself ready to do the right thing and we learned about how we can get ready to do the right thing how we can learn to be self-controlled but the best news from last week is we don't do this by ourselves. Even if we do all the preparation we can, we still sometimes get it wrong. But the great news is God is with us and he says he will give us the power to do godly things, to do the right things, even when we don't want to. Because you know what? When we don't have self-control, it can actually be really bad for us. When you lose control, it can cause trouble. Just think about the last time that you lost control of your emotions and started shouting. I bet that wasn't nice. Or the time when perhaps you just ate and ate and ate until you felt really sick. Also not so nice. So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. How when we lose control, it can actually cause trouble. But before we do that, up on your feet, because it is time for us to dance. Whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help, God, you're always there for me. Wherever you lead me, I can follow you. God, you're always there for me. Oh, God, you're always there for me. Help me believe you know what's best for me. Feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I'm lost and I don't know where to turn God, you're always there for me Wherever I go, you're always by my side God, you're always there for me Oh God, you're always there for me So help me believe you know what's best for me
Now, like I said, today we're taking a look at how when we lose control, it can cause a lot of trouble. So let's head over to the so-and-so show to see just what type of trouble they're getting into today. I'm Brandon. Oh, and I'm John, and this is the So and So Show. And this is the So and So Show Universal Remote. Oh yeah, I love this thing. We uh, we just got it recently, so still figuring out all the controls. We know we can rewind and pause and apparently fast forward because I never talk this fast in real life because so it must be the remote brand. Please help! I'm going to stop and can't stop talking. Oh, thanks. So oh, let me try. Sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, Brandon. Yes, John. Tell me a story. A story? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so yesterday, I left the house without a coat, mm -hmm. and it was so cold outside that I had these, these goosebumps all over. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Let's see if we can change the channel, shall we? I'm telling you, I was colder than a wild Bessie stuck in five feet of snow. I took off down the street, lickety split, running so fast my boots could barely keep up with me. <laughs> really? True as a trusty steed. Well, that felt weird. Oh. My turn. Uh, what what button was that? I just uh, changed the channel. As you can see, the weather today is looking weatherly. We have temperature here, temperature here, some arrows coming across the country. Nothing exciting, nothing you can't figure out by stepping outside yourself. <gasps> Back to you, Joan. Now we gotta stay real quiet so we don't scare them off. Elk can get real skittish. So we've got to keep them calm with the official elk call. Join in with me. Moo! Ooh! Loo! Loo! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play Fanny Pack Friend. I love chili running through my system, yeah. Love Day's game is a nail biter. Fans across the world. Oh, can this be? It's not over until I sing. I think we all learned a valuable lesson today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and now you mix it all together. Eh? Eh? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I, I may have gotten a little carried away. Eh, está bien, Brandon. Pasen las mejores familias. Ay, santos cielos, ¿por qué estoy hablando en español? I, I don't understand you. You're speaking in Spanish. Brandon, tienes que arreglar esto ahora. I, I, okay, I, I don't know. Let me try this one. Oh. No puedo creer que hicieras tan gran error. Whew, I did it. You're back to normal. You are back to normal, right? Sí. Oh, boy. Hora de historias bíblicas con Kellen. guys. Hola, Kellen. Um, hola to you, too. What wise thing do you want to teach us today, Kellen? That's a very appropriate question, because today we're looking at a verse written by one of the wisest men ever, King Solomon. Bring on the Proverbs. You bet. Solomon wrote many of the sayings written down in the book of Proverbs, and the verse we're looking at today comes from... I don't seize it! Um, hi, Horvath. I don't seize it. See what? Right, the verses! You said we're looking at the verses, but I see nothing! Oh yeah, I just meant we're going to be talking about a verse. Proverbs 25, 28. Oh! Let's just read the verse, shall we? Yes, I will help. All right. I am Horvath, and I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger! That's right! Let's do this! In Proverbs 25, 28, Solomon wrote, a person without self-control. I seize it! 
Oh, great. A person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Well, stop! Fist exercise! Okay! Wave your arms and your head and your hips around like this. Whoa. Then drop your arms so sad like a wall fell down. I call this no control, no wall! We do this 43 times. Go. One. Eighteen. Platypus. Figure skater. 79 and three quarters. 43. Oh, oh. Are you okay, Horvath? No controls. No funds. Oh. oh, um, let me help you. No! Oh, okay. So, what Solomon wrote and what Horvath demonstrated is that self-control is really important. Back in the Old Testament times, cities were protected from danger by walls around them. So, when we have self-control, it's like we've built a wall that can keep us strong and safe. Stop! Second exercise! Show off our muscles like this. Nice and strong. Then give yourself a big hug. I call this strong and safe. We do it 77 times. Go. 14. Ooh. Copper pennies. Ooh. 35. Ooh. Turtleneck sweaters. Ooh. Chocolate bunnies. Uh, ooh. 77, great jobs, great jobs. Look at those muscles, they're getting smarter. Oh, thanks. That's what it's like with self-control. But without self-control, it's easy for us to fall into things that are not good for us, like lying or being mean or eating too much junk food. Stop, that exercise. I call this the junk food jimmies. We put the foods in our mouths as fast as possible. Ah, and then we have the sad stomach aches. <laughs> we do this 122 times. Goes. Ah, oh, one. Ah, 12. Ah, tiger lilies. Ah, hacky sack. Ah, 99. Ha! Regis Philbin. Regis, what? Ha! 122s. Whoa. I think I ate too much, Kellen. Oh, but you didn't actually. Self controls is really important, right, Kellen? Um, ah. Yes, it is. Uh, what if I don't have it? I'm, I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Later in the Bible, a Jesus follower named Paul describes self-control as a fruit of the Spirit, which means you're not on your own. When you follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit can help you have self-control. Oh, final exercise. Okay, bring your hands together like you are praying and do a squat. Uh, uh, and then you come up and put your hands on your hips. Boom because now you're so confident and in control. I call this the prayer squatties, okay? We do this 300 times, all right? Go! Ooh. Ah, 18. Cut it now, pizza. Ooh. 92s. Ooh. Mediocre sushis. Ooh. Spanks. Ooh. Puff a fish. Oh, 300. Yeah. Well, thank you, Horvath. That was really helpful. Yay. I helped the one and only Kellens. This guy right here, he's Kellen. I'm like a city with a big, strong, awesome wall that never breaks and only ever gets pooped on by pigeons occasionally. Yay. Once again, that verse is, a person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Having self-control can keep you safe, but when you lose control, it can cause trouble. Y que lo digas, Kellen. Tell me about it. I lost control with our universal remote, and now John can only speak Spanish. Oh, 
Have you tried the SAP button? The what? The SAP button. It's the button that changes what language you're listening to. Oh. Did that do anything? I don't feel any different. Hey, hey, it worked! Thanks, Kellen! Yeah, and gracias for the story. No problemo, amigos. Adios. So it's really important to have self-control. Yeah, and not other people control. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. Yeah, I forgive you, man. <laughs> I wonder what else this thing can do. Uh -huh. Reveal the question! When do you lose control? Great question. Now, none of us are perfect at being in control of ourselves all the time, so it helps to be aware of when we tend to lose control. Yeah, you might lose control when you're playing a competitive game mm -hmm. or when someone in your family does something that annoys you. Or maybe when you're really hungry. I usually lose control when I'm hungry. Do you have any butter? No. Whatever it is for you, remember you can choose to have self-control. Yeah, think about it. Talk to a friend about it. And we will see you next time. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was The So-and-So Show. Yes. Why would you ask if I had any butter? Who has butter? Hmm. Here's a button labeled random costumes we have in storage. I wonder what it does. I would rather not find. Welcome. Where are you from? 1920. You missed the sleeves. You missed the sleeves. Ah, we meet again, Lego. Yes, Toe. And I'm foot. a foot! Oh. Say ah. Uh. Say ah. Uh. Mm. <laughs> uh, you look funny. You're under arrest, mister. Yeah, for what? Bowling without a license. That's three strikes. You know what three strikes is, don't you? Turkey! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, some of those outfits. Do you remember the proverb, the wise saying that Kellen was telling us about? It says, a person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. And when we lose self-control, it can feel like there are just no boundaries to what we're doing. I loved what John said at the end there. None of us are perfect at being in control of ourselves all of the time. Not even me or your leaders. So it helps us to be aware of when we tend to lose control so that we can be ready for it. So wherever you are, I want you to pause the video for a minute and to chat with the people you're in the room with about that question. When do you lose control? We all do it, so don't worry, but when do you lose control? Great discussion guys, and some real honesty. Do you remember our memory verse for this month? It says, God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. And that's found in 2 Peter 1 verses 3. I want you to say that with me. God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. Now I want you to pause the video for a moment and just where you are, I want you to say it a couple of times. Maybe emphasize different words, things like, God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life, or perhaps, God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. So over to you guys to practice saying it. Pause your video here. Brilliant job guys. Knowing that we're not alone in trying to be self-controlled, knowing that the Holy Spirit is with us, helping us, makes this so much easier. I'm gonna to pray to end our time together. Thank you, Lord, that you love us no matter whether we succeed in being self-controlled. You love us even when we have no self-control. But thank you, Lord, that you want to help us, that you want the best for us. And the best for us is to learn to do what we should rather than doing always what we want. Help us with that this week, Lord. Amen. Brilliant. If you're in the room, then we're going to do some craft and some games together. But if you're watching online, then we look forward to seeing you next week for our next instalment of Remote Control.